How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawl for you today, as always. And I just have a huge smile on my face because Battle Pass 2 is officially here. Brawlhalla Synthwave Battle Pass just went live this morning, and here we are. So, we're going to go over everything there is to go over in the new Battle Pass in this video. But first, let's just appreciate that music, that awesome new title screen that we can see right here. We can see the Nyx skin, which is the uh, final skin you can unlock in the Battle Pass. And also, check out the, the menu on the left. You notice the moon, if you mouse over it, it turns into a, a synthwave sun. That's so cool. Also, I noticed when you go into the lobby for a game, the music changes again. Oh my goodness, I love it. It kind of reminds me of like an old retro, uh, like Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo game, or even before that, like just like 80s arcade or something. So anyways, Without further ado, let's jump into the Battle Pass. So just like last season, there's going to be the free track and the uh, premium track. And it looks like uh, the free track, you're still going to be able to get some weapon skins, some colors, and whatnot. But before we even go on, guys, let's look at everything that you can unlock instantly if you purchase the premium track. You're going to get the Future Wave Val skin, which levels up to, to level 3. You can see it over here. Future Wave Valve level 1, level 2, and then the level 3 version has the animated weapons, which you can use on other legends that ha share the same weapon. You also get the Podium, the Arcade Knights level 1, Arcade Knights level 2, Arcade Knights level 3 Podium. And unlike the first Battle Pass, where you could not equip the level 1 or level 2 versions of the skin or Podium, after you got the level 3 version, in Battle Pass 2, you can. At least that's what that's what they've told me. So anyways, we also get the Cyberfly sidekick and a digital break avatar. So, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the premium track right now. And while I'm at it, I'm going to purchase the Fall Championship 2020 pack. Why not? Trying to close the Steam overlay, it just will not close. Shift to, all right, well, there we go. Battle Pass, you unlock the Battle Pass. Kind of a weird uh, emblem and like, I don't know. Well, anyways, boom! Future Wave Val, level one, except. Look at the sword and the gauntlets. Oh man, so cool. We got the Arcade Knights podium. See, I wish it had let me equip now, right from this screen. We got the Cyberfly sidekick and the Digital Break avatar. So now I'm going to be getting Everything from the free tier and the paid tier. So let's look at everything you can get in the Battle Pass 2. Right off the bat, you're going to get some Battle Pass points multiplier, which makes it so that you can level up your Battle Pass even faster. The new Synthwave colors. As you level up the Battle Pass, you'll unlock a Synthwave color for a random legend. And then if it's, if it's like the first Battle Pass, at the very end, or very near the end, you can unlock Synthwave colors for all legends, regardless of who you unlocked it for before. On the premium pass, you also get mammoth coins thrown in there every now and then, so you kind of get your money back. Another Synthwave can. We got a Retro Raver Taunt. Awesome glow sticks. We got the Smooth Waves Bow Skin at tier 6. Tier 7, we get an awesome looking loading frame. I actually love that one. That's probably my new favorite loading frame. Future Wave. Too bad it's not animated though. Tier 8, we got another Sith Wave color scheme. We get the hammer, the off-world hammer on tier 9. Tier 10, you get a boombox avatar. It's alright. Got some colors there. Got a heartbeat avatar. Ooh, that one's actually kind of cool. It's like a drum. It's like... I like that. And then we got the uh, twinkle smiley. Mo oh, wow. Let's look at that again. It doesn't... I really don't like how the hand is covering the smile, like, it's called Twinkle Smile, and it actually looks more like the eye or the cheek is smiling, but I like it, I like it. The axe, Sunset Axe at tier 15. Already it seems like there's more stuff in the free pass than there was last year, so that's cool. Neon Gleam, oh man, you don't get any, uh, actually no, you do get some of the weapons in the free, free track, uh, but not all of them. 
Cyber Hills Avatar, that one's... Eh, I don't like that one too much. Spray Cans Avatar, not animated or anything. And then we got Cybernetic Beat Isaiah. On Tier 23, our first Synthwave skin that we're gonna unlock after the Val, of course. I really like those, uh... Or, I mean, I really like the cannon. That looks so, so cool. Alright, let's keep it moving. Oh, the Cat Tar 808? Cat TR 808 skins? Oh, man! Tier 25. Got some more Mammoth coins. We got the Synthetic Charge Rocket Land skin at Tier 29. Oh, man, a breakdance taunt. I gotta say, you know, for absolutely free, for free, just by playing the game, you can get a bunch of stuff in this battle pass for free. We got the TV head sidekick. That one's really cool. I kind of was wishing the TV head would be an actual skin for a legend, but pretty awesome sidekick nonetheless. Ooh, I like the neon sign with the uh, the symbols there. That looks really cool. More mammoth coins. The digital lockdown. At first, I actually thought this was a hammer skin or something, but it's actually the scythe. I don't really like it that much, but that's just me. But still, a weapon skin at tier 38. We got the virtual cruise avatar at tier... I'm sorry, tier 37 on the scythe. Tier 38, we got the avatar, which would be way cooler if it was animated. Oh, that one actually makes sound. It's very soft, but you can hear it. The guitar solo. Oh, man, that is kind of cool. Tier 39. Tier 41, we get the Tempo Groove Blaster skin. Not bad. More Mammoth coins. Ooh, that is a nice animation on the Sunset Palm Avatar. That, see what I mean? The animation really makes it so much better. More Synthwave colors. We got the Resonance UI theme. What? Oh man, that is cool. So that is basically, it's gonna show on your loading frame when you're loading into a game. It's also gonna show every time you get a KO, like if it shows you getting a KO on the top screen. And I'm not sure where the other part it shows, but it shows all over the place. That's so cool. Oh, you get the Robo Neko on the free track. That is so cool, tier 46. Tier 47, boom. Modular, Riff, Ember. Let's take a look at the weapons. We got the digital sample bow, the numeric flux guitars. Oh my goodness. Very nice. Very nice. That's the second skin. Third if you count the Val skin. Got another multiplier. We got the Night Lapse Gauntlet skins. Wow, nothing in the free track from 48 to 55. We got the Futuristic Flow Avatar. Wow, they should have put at least one thing in the free track. You know what I'm saying? Even a ver even a synthwave color. Come on. We got the Techno Pup, tier 55. Un again, no more freebies. So maybe no more freebies until the end. Maybe the last freebie you get is the Robo Neko. We'll see. We got the uh, Sonic Boom Cannon skin. Got some more Mammoth coins. Oh, that is so cool. Burnout Emote Taunt. I actually have a motorcycle. I've I've always been a fan of motorcycles, so this is really, really cool to me. I love that. Tier 61. That's like the best. Oh, tier 63. This is a KO effect. Wow, that looks so cool. Digital breakdown dot wave. So cool. Very, very, very cool. I love that KO effect. We're getting into the last tiers, guys. Yep, nothing for the free tiers again. The Galactic Glitch Orb skin, and it is animated! Oh, man! Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the only animated Synthwave skin that is just a weapon skin by itself. Like, the other weapon skins were not animated except on the level 3 Val, and maybe on, like, some of the uh, Legend skins, but... Wow, that is so cool. That orb is literally one of the best-looking orbs in the skin automatically. That's at tier 65. And then we have more Mammoth Coins. I think we're up to 100 free Mammoth Coins, somewhere around there. The Interstellar Avatar. Is that me or does that look like Volkov? Is that Volkov or is that... I, what is that? I don't even know what that is. It's cool looking, I guess. Tier 71, we get the High Frequency Yumiko. Amazing. I actually really like this skin. Got the Interface Bow and the Base Drop Hammer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Last but not least, guys, 
we got two more two more windows to look at to look at again nothing left in the free pass 20 more mammoth coins retro mule near oh that looks really cool it's actually the brahala symbol in there i like that a lot man they really killed it with the avatars in this battle pass don't you guys agree and then we have the astro shard spear it looks amazing but after seeing the orb skin being animated like i said i think the orb is the only uh standalone weapon skin that's animated otherwise this could have been so much better if it was animated but still a really cool spear skin i like that a lot actually and then last but not least guys the great sword the outrun great sword skin i actually that's probably my favorite uh standalone weapon skin other than the spear and the orb the great sword the spear and the orb are my favorites the neon drive emote wait what you actually get in a car and drive into the sunset it has sound effect and everything that is so crazy wow tier 83 and then at tier 84 sorry free track players but if you play it for free you're not going to get synthwave colors for every single legend you'll just get synthwave colors for random like 10 or 20 legends and that's it and then finally retro reaper nyx the epic skin of the at the conclusion of the battle pass the retro reaper nyx those are the weapons the hotline slash and the ripple and wave and one thing that it doesn't say here but i know is a fact is that there are actual custom signature animation effects on this skin retro reaper nyx i don't think there is on the other skins but i think i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure on the other ones there's not but on this skin 100 percent there is custom signature animations i think you can check those out in the training room if you really want to see them there you have it so let's rewind that a little bit the last free thing you get is that tier 46 that's really unfortunate i was really really hoping they would put synthwave universal colors on as the last thing you can get for the free free scheme but they really want you to pay for the Battle Pass Premium. And honestly, and I am not sponsored on this at all, it is well worth the $10, guys. For $10, you get three Val skins, three different podiums, you get like four or five different avatars, you get like, I don't even know how many, uh, I'm sorry, th you get three, four or five sidekicks. I don't even know how many avatars, probably like 10 different avatars. You get all these emotes, you get the loading frame, you get all these weapon skins, you get another skin there with Isaiah, you get just so much stuff. Guys, for $10, for $10, the KO effect alone is like $5. I mean, don't believe me, we can look in the store, but you guys, you guys know that the value on this battle pass is absolutely incredible. All right, guys. Let's play a game. We're gonna we're gonna load up Future Wave Val. So, is there anything I can uh, put here right now for like the new? Yeah, let's do the digital break there. Uh, for my sidekick, let's do Cyberfly. My loading frame, I don't have the cool one yet. We'll get that at level seven. Arcade Knights Podium, boom. I think that's all we can do for now. All right, let's do it, guys. Oh, actually, you know what I want to do is the new Synthwave Kung Fu. Uh, there's also a couple new maps, and this is probably on the new map, I'm guessing. So, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, man, this music. Let's lock in Future Wave Val. Ooh, I can only do red or blue. That's all right. As I mentioned previously, guys, you can look at all... I'm pretty sure almost all of the Battle Pass skins and everything like that, you can look at in training. You can look at every color in training. There's that loading frame uh, battle pass UI theme up there. Oh yeah, new map time, baby. This is the new map. There's actually another new map, but it's only in free for all. So this is just for Kung Foot, I guess. Got it. They're too busy trying to kill me. They're not even going for the ball. All right, maybe I should play defense because I don't think my teammate's going to. Dang it. They're just doing good. 
There it is. Oh no, it's tied. It's tied. All right. There we go, teammate. He actually hit it the right way. Ooh, that was close. There it is. Yes. All right, I think we're going to five. Oh man, it comes down to this. No! Oh my gosh. All right, that was fine and all, but do I have to win to get my bonus? Oh yeah, I didn't even look at the missions, guys. All right, let's, real quick, let's look at the missions. So if you don't get the premium battle pass, you only get, I think the first three or four missions. And then if you get the premium, you get the bottom three or four as well. So these really help you level up the battle pass faster. So win matches with home field advantage. Interesting. Uh, Spear Legend wins. Get KO effects with active input versions. Only certain legends have active inputs. Orb, orb damage KO. All right. Wow. So to level up our Val skin here, we have to do Psychic Signature or Recovery Attack KOs. <laughs> and then to level up our podium, we have to get KOs on Sun Drive City or Miami Dome. Wow. All right. Let's do a one v one with the Val. Still 1v1 with the Val. Oh man. I can't wait to unlock some synthwave colors, but for now I think I'm just gonna go classic colors. Please give me my amidone. Apparently I need uh I need uh, KOs with that. I need to get side sig or recovery KOs as well. Oh it's Sergeant! I play with him all the time on 2v2 actually. I can't believe he got into my uh, battle pass video. That's funny. Oh man, you like my cape? Oh yeah, it's got the new avatar. Let's go, Sergeant! I will keep doing that side stag off the wall if you let me. Oh, he tried to weapon arm me. Yeah, side signature KO. Let's go. So I'm only gonna have time probably for one match here. because of the length of the video, but I am going to be playing Brawlhalla a lot. So if you guys want to see me play, just stay tuned. Ooh, he countered my side stick perfectly there. Yep, it's gonna be really hard to survive when I'm in deep red and he's got an orb. Go, Sergeant. Oh, yeah. First time I've used the down sig all game, baby. Man, this skin looks really cool. I can't wait to get to level three, Val. I actually like this better than the uh, Petra skin from the last battle pass. Yo, GG, Sergeant, GG. Oh, he's got the podium. Oh, man. 
He just said nice. <laughs> a man of few words when we're playing against each other, but when he's on my team, he, he talks a lot. Anyways. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the Battle Pass overview. Like I said, I'm going to be playing a ton of Battle Pass in the future. I'm going to be making videos of me playing all the new stuff, all the new content, all the new missions and everything. I'm going to be trying to complete and leveling up for you guys. Let me know what you guys think is the best thing in the Battle Pass. For me, it's probably that Nick skin. Let's go into offline play and training just so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, man. Retro Reaper Nyx, baby. Check it out. Oh, man. You could also look at the new Synthwave colors for any legend. But, wow. The, this skin looks just incredible in every single color. Oh, that's right. We can also use any uh, sidekick. All right. So, let, let, let's show you the new level as well. There it is. Sundrive City. I just want to show you guys the uh, custom signature graphics real quick. Alright, wow, look at this Nyx skin. So, this is the final skin you get in the Battle Pass. Here's the Neutral Sig. Oh man, Side Sig. Pretty cool, right? She literally leaves a path of like Synthwave in all of her moves. That one's my favorite because the guy gets cut in half. Like, whoosh, so cool. And then for Blasters, oh, that, no. Blasters, look at these animated blasters as well neutral sig actually shoots out a virtual hand down sig oh pulls out some speakers and whatnot and then side sig just a pew pew let's see what happens if i actually hit him with the uh the side sig a little bit of a different sound effect all right guys that's gonna be it for this video if you want to see more Brawlhalla content, including Battle Pass 2, definitely subscribe. I will be here putting that content out for you guys. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Battle Pass 2 hype, guys. Take it easy. Hope to see you in the next one.